My name is James Foley. This is Cooley Duty, Valley of Upper County Waterford. We're in the Blackwater Valley. We bought the farm in 2000. It needed a lot of work. This is a dairy farm. We're milking 200 cows. Uh, we split our calving about one third in the spring and two thirds in the autumn. We're supplying milk uh, year round to Arabon Co-op. I suppose what's different about the farm is we're trying to farm in a more regenerative way. The last uh, number of years we've switched to a more sort of nature-friendly model or an idea of a, a nature-friendly way of producing our milk which would be to try and cut down on our fertilizer use, nitrogen especially. We've introduced some uh, multiple species swords. The general farm in Ireland would, would be ryegrass and white clover and would uh, a lot of synthetic nitrogen use and we're trying to kind of move a little bit away from that. Since 2018 we've uh, introduced some of these multiple spe species swords and we're, we're very happy with them. This is a, a multiple species lay. There's about 20 different species in here. There's all sorts of different clovers and uh, it actually hasn't got any nitrogen since 2018 is two years ago. It seems to be every bit as productive as any other field I have that's on on, a, on the full rate of nitrogen. As you can see, they uh, they seem to like it. It's a bit of variety in their diet. I can see bits of um, yarrow here, and um, this one is chicory. It's very very deep rooting, so it, it can bring the minerals up from very deep under under the soil. Uh, which the sort of ryegrass monoculture isn't able to access, and it's also kind of, it's very drought tolerant as well. So every every single species here has a has a role to play. And when things are flowering here, um, there's a lot going on here. This field is a little bit more advanced than the field the cows are in. So this is. Uh, which is actually cut for silage, um, but the seed heads are starting to come on the grass and the, um, the clovers are starting to, to flower. When you're looking at this as a dairy farmer, you'd normally see the field gone to seed and you'd just say from a distance, you'd kind of think that there was no sort of quality forage in there. But there's actually, if you look down, you know, there is like this, you know, there's a lot of good green material down there and and cows love it, you know, you're managing for diversity, it's, it's, it's a different way to manage things. That's sort of what regenerative farming is about, you're, you're farming for the soil and you're farming for production. The neighbouring field to here is, is your kind of a typical ryegrass um, white clover field, whereas, you know, you're obviously quite different when you're inside here. But, you know, the, the equivalent for in, in human sort of nutrition I suppose would be uh, that that would be the same as having porridge three times a day whereas this is a, a real balanced diet and you know the cows know what they want and they don't you know they're like ourselves they don't want only one thing every day. Where I go with the farm in the future um, like we're a family farm we'd like to we'd like to stay a family farm um, my wife and uh, two young children uh, I'd hope that we'd all have a future here. In the line of making the farm more viable, I think we need to concentrate on what's inside our farm gate in terms of what we can actually produce from the land without having to resort to buying in inputs. With the multiple species swords that, that I've introduced to the farm, I'd actually like to introduce a lot more diversity to all my fields and I, I think that this will sort of future-proof me against uh, increases in prices of fertilizer and hopefully I'll be able to cut down my nitrogen to as low as possible I suppose and still be able to produce yields. Any farmer will tell you that if you don't have a yield you don't have any, any money coming in regardless of how low your costs are. We need to stay viable. I believe that we can do so without hurting the environment. So